now, so I'm going to head to Hobby Lobby to see if I can find anything. You know, who knows? Hopefully. here they had a ton of cotton yarn so I want to try to see what they have what's new and I'll show you what I find if it's anything more than what I saw the last time I've seen them okay I need a little strawberry I need a little strawberry you guys so on the left I'm gonna show you in a second there's this display of like scarecrows. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing that in the dark? Oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started and see what I can find in the way of like cotton yarn. Cotton yarn. And again, I did really good. I didn't go to the other side of the store yet. Um, I'm gonna kind of stay focused and try to get to the yarn so that this video is not terribly long. And I love all these things. Okay, I love pictures and everything. Look at these, they're so pretty though. I like it when they have these kind. The flameless ones. Oh, yeah. Only because you can keep putting a tea light in them. You know, like keep the party going. That's what I should get the kids. Oh yeah, for the room. I think I'm gonna do this as like a voiceover only because the music kind of seems louder in some areas in the store. But I don't know. And it's a pretty, pretty display. It's not cotton yarn, but it's so pretty. I love the way they have it displayed out there. So, anyway, anyway, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna just do like a voiceover just because I, my cart was really squeaky and the music's kind of loud. I have those hooks up there at the top. Those, they're really pretty, but guys, ugh. They don't hold up that well. So if you like them, get them. But the top part kept popping off. So I'm not really sure I'm feeling them as much as I just like the way the barrel was designed. But again, you guys know I love me a good yarnology hook. So I was watching a little snippet from the Secret Yarnery. I think that's what her channel name is. Anyway, she was like, you could get little um, manicure scissors from the Dollar Tree. I haven't tried that, but I thought that was a good idea just to have some scissors. And look at these little crochet kit sets. This is really cute. I like the sloth. <laughs> That's super cute. I love plants, so that kind of drew my attention. This little kit, the Golden Girls. Who doesn't like the Golden Girls? That's really cute. Sophia on the end really actually looks like her. It's a little creepy, but cute. <laughs> Neat kit though. It comes with the tutorial and looks like it also comes with the yarn as well. So that's interesting. I like it. Neat, neat. Here's some, um, the Chanel yarn. I could probably do a whole video on that too. They have a lot here at Hobby Lobby. And then the macrame yarn as well. Like, remember back when macrame used to just be that tan color, that beige color? And now they have all these really pretty primary and neutral colors. Really like that. I've never made anything macrame before, but at that so it's basically like tons of little strands of yarn put together I have a nice little selection I like the colors there's my husband every time he sees yarn he wants me to make him a hat guys <laughs> I'm not making him a hat so anyway here we are at the cotton yarn look at this one this one's sparkly sugar whale cotton sparkle that's really pretty yeah, cotton yarn has also come a very long way. You used to only could see like a couple colors and now they have it in so many colorways. And even to see it like here in these um, little um, cakes. The variegated cakes. This is cappuccino, crap, cappuccino cream. Very pretty. 100% cotton. And this guys, it feels soft. It doesn't feel like your typical cotton yarn. And I like the fact that it has all the different colors. You probably could even make like a baby blanket, a security, like a security blanket, like a little lovey, something like that because it's cotton. So it's going to have that durability to it. And I think I like that. I love this colorway. I really do. I'm drawn to it. Nutmeg nibbles. I like that one actually. That's really pretty. 
Mm. And you know guys, cotton yarn is so durable. Well, historically to me it's been durable. And that's why I like to use it to make like my dishcloths and things like that. So I think this is kind of neat if you wanted to kind of jazz it up, do something else more with it. Maybe um, like a market bag would be really cool or a beach bag, even though we're kind of out of beach season, but something like that that would wash and dry and be durable. Look at these colorways. So pretty. And it's really not a bad price point, $6.99. And I think today in the store, everything was like 30% off and it's quite a bit of yarn. It's not a little cake, it's pretty decent size. So, you know, maybe a couple cakes would get you an entire project, depending on what you're creating. Okay, so another one that I saw here was the Fundamental Cotton Yarn. Now this looks like another standard yarn. It has a lot of colors. It's really soft, right in between like a regular like lilies and cream or sugar and cream or whatever and the sugar wheel and this here is the premium suprema was it gonna say prim prima suprema prima suprema i'm saying that wrong you guys see what i'm talking about <laughs> very soft yarn very 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 soft it doesn't feel like cotton at all honestly and but yeah the fundamental cotton comes in a lot of colors now this stitch 101 is not a all the way cotton yarn it's like um acetate and something it's not cotton but it was down here by it so I looked at it but yeah we'll just keep moving I was just looking at it that didn't really count <laughs> and here's some more of the fundamental cotton yarn and I'm just really intrigued that they have so many different color choices Ooh, that yellow's pretty that's pretty together so I'm just kind of trying to see what they the feel of it, the differences in it. I'm literally just touching everything to kind of see what what the feel thing quality is. Now they have this. I love, um, I love when they do these little swatches like that, so you can kind of see how it's made up. So Fresh Haven is another type of cotton yarn, and it makes up. Looks like it has a nice drape. And then of course this. I love this cotton yarn. This must be their standard yarn because they had a ton of it in a lot of different colors look at this they had variegated colors they had stripes they had look at this one and the thing about it i couldn't figure out which one that was there was no label on this little swatchy thing so i was just kind of looking to see but i think that one above it is that one they had some at the bottom that kind of looked like it too but I don't know, I thought that was really, really pretty. Very, very pretty. Here's some more of that. I love this cotton yarn. Look how much it is, guys. This is pretty. That would look really good in like a, um, like if you want to make like a nice little scarf or mittens or gloves. I don't know how gloves would hold up as cotton, but maybe. <laughs> I like that color too. Very pretty. And I really like this one. I don't know, something about that blue jean color that goes through patterns, I really, meant through the yarn, I really like it. This is a cotton knit. So I envision that to be like a nice blanket. But it is, it's up there and it's not cheap. Or should I say, it's not inexpensive, but it's not terribly bad. Look at that, they have all the, I love this cognac color, so pretty. Oh, and then olive green, oh, called Elm. Isn't that pretty, like if you do the beige, the cognac brown, that green all together, that would be such a pretty blanket, $10.99. Hmm, I like that one. Oh, and look at this one here. Cotton XL New Spin. I like that. It has a little string to kind of hold the um, the fibers together. Now this one isn't all the way cotton. This is a 77 cotton, 23% acrylic. It's like a blend, but I think I still feel like it has enough cotton to kind of count as a cotton yarn. Marble down, marble dawn. Hmm, I really like this one. It's a bulk of five. I don't even know what I would make with that, but it's pretty to me for some reason. It just 
maybe because it's the fall the store feels fall very autumn all the the decor and stuff in Hobby Lobby right now so maybe that's why that one's really pulling me but I like it and then this olive green XL yarn I like that too very very pretty it's only 90 I think this is 90 yards so it's not not terribly you don't get that much so maybe like a small project or you're just gonna have to come off come off the the green spend a little money here's some cotton yarn for socks super fine one would not be working with that no thank you but very pretty very 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 pretty so guys look at how much cotton yarn this store has still got these boxes back here <laughs> They're not as many as it was the last time I was here, but it's still a lot. And look at this one. This here, their um, Crafter Secret. This yarn here, it's cotton yarn, but it puts me in the mind frame of, um, was it sugar? Sugar and cream or lily and cream? Goodness. I think it's called sugars and cream, but you can get it from like every store. Walmart now carries it. Joanne's Fabric. All the stores have it. But this Crafter Secret, I guess, is their answer to the sugars and cream and they have an array of colors as well so that's nice i was not um disappointed with their selection this is like their little clearance area If I had anything I knew to make, I would make something with that. I thought it was pretty, 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 pretty. And, um, of course, you know, again, every time I leave the store, I always stop by the same. I kind of do the same thing in these stores. I stop by the same areas just to see if anything has changed from this time to the last. You never know. One time I got these little shirts that said, like, urinology and things like that. And they were, like, on sale for $3.24, $1.99. So you never know. When you go into these stores, just look. Even if it's... Just look, guys. <laughs> look at this little thing. Now, this is, like, I think a sewing type of gadget. But I could see crochet hooks in here. I could see a pair, a couple pairs of scissors in here. Your yarn needles in there. So... Some really cool crochet notions could go in that little thing if you're looking for a place to store your like crochet hooks and things like that. And of course, I was going to leave the store and I was going to pretend like I didn't make it to the other side, like I did something great. Here I am looking at bust and furniture, things that I do not need, guys, but I had to look. And here my husband is. He found me a little cute little Santa. He's so cute. I love brown angels and Santas and ethnic things like this. So he came home with me. <laughs> hey, so let's just wrap this up. Come with me to the car and I'll show you everything I got. I got a bag of goodies. I'll show you really quickly what I got, but I'll do it again in like another video. But I ended up going with this yarn here, which is the extra large. You can't really tell the color, but it's kind of like the um, burgundy maroon orangey color really pretty and then I ended up getting this cotton knit I do not know what I'm making with this at all I just wanted to see how I, how I like working with it um it is a little pricey this one's $10.99 but they had it on sale for 30% off so I went ahead and got that and then lastly I picked up this I love cotton which I've used before um but I went ahead and picked that up as well so I'll make something with this as well so I didn't get too much. I didn't do too bad, um, but I did pick up a few things. I got, you know, five skeins. Everything happened to be on sale this time, 30% off. So that's really good. And that's all, guys. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. How much is he? Is he on sale? Oh, he's cute. So. I want to make one.